the celebrity hockey team uh, uh, formed many years ago and has gone through several uh, transitions. And you uh, were the first to do that, correct? Uh, yeah. Were you the sort He of was the co-founder of the celebrity <laughs> hockey team, who was Alex Trebek. See how I did that, oh, how I framed it? Uh, well yeah. done. Okay, hockey trivia Fantastic. for 500, Rich. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah, Alec uh, and I yeah. and John Bennett Perry, okay. uh, who later passed the torch to his son, Matthew Perry. Then we've gone through many generations, and the current generation we are hoping that will be joined this year by Justin Bieber. We're trying to recruit him. Uh, I've never seen him skate, but he, he plays other sports, seems to be athletic, so uh, we're going after the Biebs. Now, would you say, would you say just merely guessing, uh, would you say he's a grinder? Is he going to get in the corner? Or what do you think? Or is he going to uh, sit know, there in the crease? You can't touch him? We what, don't what, really what care of... as long as he keeps his pants up. That seems to be <laughs> a big part of his M.O. on okay. tour. You wear your pants, Justin. We'd love to have you. But we've had, you know, we, we've had so many wonderful, uh, as yeah. I said, the, the torch kind of gets passed. Mm -hmm. The next generation with Cuba Gooding. We started with Dave Coulier, and there was myself, and... Uh, uh, Cuba was a, a good hockey player. David Boreanaz from Bones has uh, played in more <sighs> recent years. Yeah, we've had a lot of uh, fun guys. But, uh, uh, it, uh, we, you know, it, yeah, you have to bring in some new blood. Mm -hmm. So, Bieber, you're trying to get him to yeah. to do this? We want, to, we, we want the Biebs to show. I still manage to skate with some young blood um, mm -hmm. uh, and make a real impression, I okay. must say. Yes. I was in an exhibition uh, this summer with... Uh, Tanner Pearson from the Kings, Connor McDavid, who is the new He's name the, behind. The man. And they will remember me because, uh, you know, these guys are flying around in 45-second shifts. It took me that long to get my legs over the boards and back. <laughs> and there were a couple of uh, occasions that, were, you know, my at the end of my shift, I'm 20 feet away from the bench. I'm just trying to get back. Mm -hmm. And the flashing blades of hell and death were over the boards and back. <laughs> I think I just about took out McDavid's jugular at one point. Yeah, no, they, come on now. They were in, uh, afraid of me. They lived and skated in fear <laughs> of Alan Thicke getting near them. So you just trying to get back over the boards. Oh, just to get my the, legs over Just the back. blades were yeah, just all yeah. over, splayed all over the place. Halfway through, I'm taking ibuprofen. <laughs> uh, you know, I used to be uh, competent. I was, you know, I found that Depending on your proximity to the equator, I was subpar yeah. in Toronto. I was, in the 70s, I was mediocre with gusts of adequacy in, in L.A. <laughs> and uh, in Costa Rica, I'd be a Hall of Famer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.